Hi, this is Jaden with Adventure Pilot, and today I'm going to be walking you guys through how to use your Bluetooth to serial adapter to drive an autopilot using iFly EFB. So we have our Bluetooth serial adapter here. The first thing we're going to want to do is with this specific one, it has a Bluetooth dongle that will screw here. So now that that's connected, we're going to simulate connecting it to my autopilot, which I'm simulating using a computer. So we'll connect our serial cables together. And then, of course, we would plug the serial cable over into the autopilot, which is today my computer. Now we're going to grab the power plug for the, the specific serial adapter, plug it in, and then we'll plug the USB end into power. Now that we're all plugged up and the wiring setup's good, there's a few different settings we can change on the actual serial adapter. And so the first one you'll notice is we have four little switches here. And so on the left side, it tells us what those exactly do. Mine is currently set up for a, oh, it's out of focus. Mine is currently set up for a 9600 baud rate. Of course, you'll set that up to whatever is specific to your autopilot. And then that all looks good. So last thing we'll do here is we're going to turn the device on with that little on switch. And then you'll see that mode button flashing. And then we're going to set it into pairing mode. So for this one, it has a little thing here for pairing. And I have a little paper clip that I will click that with. should just take a second there and you'll notice it starts to beep three times and it is in pairing mode so now that that's all set up we will go ahead and move on into the software side now that we've fully set up our Bluetooth serial adapter what we're gonna do is we're going to pair our mobile device with the uh, adapter so I'm on the iFlight EFB aviation tablet today and so if you're on something else this setup may vary but in short, we're going to go into the Bluetooth settings and pair with it. So to do that on here, we'll click settings. And then we will go to connected devices. And then we're going to pair a new Bluetooth device. And so here you can see the available devices. There's going to be my specific Bluetooth adapter, which is going to be the SD1000 here. And so we'll pair. It should have a code, and usually it's going to be 0000 or 1234, or it might be in your manual. But for this one, it's just 1234, so we'll click check mark and OK to pair. Alrighty, now we've been paired, so we're good here, so we can go into the iFly app now. All right, now that we're in iFly, we're going to go ahead and configure the NMEA output settings. To do that, we'll, we will click Menu, Setup, and NMEA Output. And now, if your serial cable does not have options to configure the baud rate, you would configure that by clicking Custom, and then selecting the baud rate. And this would automatically configure whatever baud rate is needed for yours. But if yours does have a configure, a bull baud rate on the actual system like the one I previously showed, then you would want to just change that on the device. Now that this is set up, we can cancel that and we'll go into the enemy output settings again. And we are going to click send to Bluetooth RS232. And then we'll click this a specific device. And it says enemy output to Bluetooth success and we're now connected. So that's all good. So now we can click Menu, Setup, Enemy Output one more time. And you should also notice now it should be sending Enemy Output data over to your autopilot. And so on this specific serial output, it has a red light showing that it is sending Enemy data. And also to configure the type of Enemy data you're sending on this page, you can click Custom select Bluetooth, and then you can select the different sentence types to send. Now that that's finally done, you can also test your autopilot further by starting a simulation mode to simulate that you're flying in iFly.
To do that, you can click Menu, Start Simulation Mode, and you can either fly the flight plan or show simulation controls. That will let you control the airplane specifically. And so I can give myself some airspeed and some vertical speed to simulate a flight. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful time flying. And if you have questions, feel free to call us at 214-585-0444 or reach out at support at adventurepilot.com via email. Thanks. Bye.